Shout London, the mental health and arts festival from Ashford Place, returned for its second annual festival with a programme of films, music, poetry, live drama, discussions and more. Plus a closing gala with some very special guests. The event kicked off with Maria McAteer performing scenes from her one-woman show, The Guinness Girl, with Alice Beadle on violin. This was followed by Ben Acker's Our Kids, Our Lives. Ben established the talk club community to get men talking. So this came out of uh, a film we made called Steve, uh, about, about uh, the sur it was after the suicide of my childhood best friend, a bloke called Steve Yates, um, and I realised that he wasn't a number, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't a statistic, he was a friend, he was a, uh, a father, he was a son, he was a brother. So what we wanted to do was try and save the next Steve, um, and in the four years we've been uh, as an organisation and two years as a charity, we've now got 76 clubs around the world and, and over 3,500 men. So what we're trying to do is we're building a community of men to connect with each other uh, all through talking groups and all through this question of how are you out of 10 and the idea of mental fitness so what we're trying so so the idea of talk youth and the idea of our kids our lives is to again reignite the conversation start younger get everyone talking because we want a mentally fit society maddie kitchen screened her short film say something i think that was that was also quite a big moment for me to realise that, you know, this is really scary and it will kill me. If it doesn't kill me physically from the damage I'm doing to my body, I will, it will kill me like mentally and I'll end up doing something that I might not have done if I wasn't drunk. It's, it's been an absolutely amazing day. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled to show Neve's film, Say Something, and to see Ben Acker's film as well, and hear some of the amazing poetry and the musicians. It's been an absolute pleasure. The singer-songwriter Sasha Wood performed. It's not that I don't want to tell you. Both Sasha Wood and Maria McAteer have lived experience of depersonalization personality disorder. This was amazing to be able to be on a stage and with someone else who knows exactly what the feeling is um, and to just talk about it with such a welcoming and understanding and attentive uh, like audience and atmosphere as well. Um. Talking to Sasha, she's actually the first person that I've ever met who um, has had the same DDD. So um, it was amazing talking to her and like comparing notes and you know realizing that um, we've been through similar things and some of the lyrics in her songs I, I really identified with because um, they were things that I used to do as, as a kid and I didn't even realize um, what it was. So yeah, it was just fantastic to meet and connect with somebody who's gone through the same things. Knowing that you're not alone is such a key step forward to solving things or being able to cope with them or accepting them, accepting yourself. It, it's just so crucial. So, The short film Disordered showed an eating disorder's effect on the family. I have to be perfect all the time. I can't eat it, I can't eat it, I can't. But I don't need it. I just need to be thin, that's all I need. Why can't I just eat it? Why can't I just eat it? Just eat it! And it's just been it's so incredible to see all this different work of like portraits, um, artworks, short films. It's incredible how everyone's come together to portray this message and how people are so open about their struggles, which I think is, a, is literally the best way of people coming out to share their own troubles and reach out for help because you see other people doing it it inspires you to do it so it's been absolutely wonderful there was also a short documentary on Hi, eating I'm disorders Collins, presented by actor, michelle collins it's also an ex-ed sufferer that means i had an eating disorder when i was in my teens and early 20s i was one of the lucky ones i survived and have managed to live a healthy happy life I had an eating disorder when I was very young and I managed to kind of deal with it really but I think you know there are so many people men and women suffering from eating disorders um, particularly more since 
uh, lockdown, COVID, I think. Um, and it's something that really needs to be addressed. And I think people, a lot of people kind of don't think it's as bad as it is. And it, it can be uh, fatal as well. And I think, you know, we really need to kind of, kind of try and understand it. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be tragic. It doesn't have to mean death. People, if they get the right uh, treatment, you know, they, they can um, live a, a good life anyway. So, so yeah, I was really um, happy that um, Kerry said she'd put it in the festival. So that was really important. But as we all know, more and more now, mental health is just so important that we all look after our mental health and other people's mental health because, you know, it's not easy out there, is, there? is, is it, in the world, you know? Radio 4 broadcaster Peter Curran presented the festival. This had an awful lot of personal resonance for me, particularly coming from Ireland and a lot of the people involved here had Irish heritage and um, some of the stories interlocked with uh, the difficulties my own family had faced and perhaps didn't talk about an awful lot in previous generations. So I came away with a festival with lots of food for thought really about my own life which was a, a lovely thing to happen as much as I heard about other people who'd had these incredible experiences. The music video Talk It Out screened. This afternoon, I spent it just with you and I want to let you know that I'm there want you to know I'm there yeah, yeah, yeah cause you know what it's all hearing uh, people's stories and backgrounds and other things that I'm not aware of. Um, I think that, that you know when you start talking to people um, you notice there's a lot of similarities and, and um, it's very humbling. Yeah, so really good to be part of it. Thank you. Yeah, it feels great to be here again. Um, second year of uh, Shout London. So yeah, wonderful to be here taking part, also listening to the amazing performances today, um, looking at the artwork around as well. So it's absolutely jam-packed of things to, to look at and to listen and to um, yeah be a part of it it's been wonderful today I already heard the, big news through the, grapevine. the festival is coming to other cities with events in Liverpool and Belfast already being planned Tell me about the little like how you finally learned the way well, it was fabulous um, you know last year was obviously the first time and we can't believe the support that we've had for this event. It's growing and growing. Yesterday we were at the Kiln, today we were at the Crown. It's just been emotional, it's been fabulous. We now are about to launch Shout Liverpool. I remember last year I said to you we're going to be going all over the country. Well, it takes time. Our first one's going to be Liverpool and we're going to be building from there. So it's really brilliant. Everyone is talking about mental health. That's the most important thing. Also, people are talking about Ashford Place, who do so much work for physical and mental health. So I'm absolutely delighted. That's what I said to you. What's it all about? need festivals like this because it's bringing creative people together it's breaking down the stigma that exists around different things that are still whether it's mental health neurodiversity trauma there's been a lot of things discussed today and festivals like this you're seeing the talent first you're not seeing the the struggle that, that, that we all sometimes suffer and I think that's what's so wonderful about Shout London and what it's trying to do is to really break down that stigma but using film using music using in conversation so yeah it's um yeah just amazing we need more events like this to be happening around the country we need to shout we need to, we need to get bigger and i think that that's what's great about this festival is that we're shouting and we're we're, we're, we're going for more alternative ways of looking at things it's not uh, trying to find art and trying to find uh film as as, as part of culture but you've got to shout you can't you can't be subtle with this thing because it's killing people I think it's something that should be going on not just here but in, in, in different cities. It's it's very important everyone getting together. 
Mental health is a really broad thing. It's not about being mad, crazy or unable to live because of mental health difficulties. It's also about good living, being able to go through your life, looking after yourself, looking after those around you, spotting friends who are having difficulties. And that was one of the things I took away with how universal the themes of this festival would be to enable us to, to help our neighbours, friends and uh, the rest of the community something we we could do with more of to be honest um you know kind of when you when you see people coming together and the audience we've had today and the great and yesterday and the the diversity of subject and topic and and honesty it does um resonate and i think it's really powerful and helpful to you know to have a group um of people coming together like this i spent it just with you and i want to let you know There's not enough. There's not enough festivals like this to really provide a voice to, you know, um, people suffering from mental health and those who advocate for those who suffer with mental health. So, you know, long may it continue. Long may it continue. I was really pleased to hear that it's going to Liverpool, mm. and I just think it's a great formula. And the more people that can benefit from it throughout the country, and maybe it'll go on to the other side of the pond and be in Belfast or Ireland. Or, you know, that would be really super. It's been fascinating and I really can't wait to see what else Shout's going to do as well. Let's talk about it now I'm here with you There's something I can do I know it's hard for you I've got to talk it out Ooh, Talk it out Got to talk it out. I'm here with you. Got to talk it out. There's something I can do, and we can talk it through. Shout London will return in 2024.